I wish to respond to the Honorable Raila Odinga as follows. One, as the chair of the UDA party, but also having the privilege of being in the Council of Governors as a governor. One, the constitution envisaged a situation where there will be some partnership between national government and county governments. And um, that is why the interrelations uh, committee was formed that helped to discuss matters concerning national government, county governments, and agreeing on some partnership. I want to answer him the following. Number one, the president has been kind enough to involve us as governors to discuss those particular matters right from inception to their implementation. A good example is the county aggregation and industrial parks and the EPZs that are in some counties and the CAIPs are in all the 47 counties. Now, this is a pure partnership between the national government and the county governments. The county, in the case of the county industrial parks, the national government is giving 250 million, the county governments are giving 250 million, and so it's a partnership of 50-50 and all governors who are too excited to move with it. In fact, I want to let him know that among the first governors to embrace that program were governors from his own political party. Governor Wanga, who wants to make sure she has a good fish industry in her county. Uh, Homa Bay. Busia, Governor uh, Otuama, embraced it because he's keen on reviving the industry. So I, I don't know whether he understands that him, he has no answers to when it comes to 2027 because he's not an elected member. But he needs to understand that his own governors are elected and they have responsibilities and manifesto to implement for the people who voted for them. The second issue is that in the Ministry of Health on matters concerning community health promoters. Again, in that particular instance, we have the president proposed that, you know, we need these community health promoters. They are very important for primary health care. And as we move towards universal uh, uh, health uh, program, we need to make sure that these people are up and running. And then he said, I'll be willing to meet you people halfway. If you can pay those people a stipend where you do 50%, I'll be willing to put in 50% so that we give them a stipend and they can be able to work for the people, they can be able to be in their homes and the villages and be able to identify disease in good time so that the burden of disease can be reduced in the country. Each governor, already in their budget, they have 50% for the community health promoters. Let me come to the issue of fertilizer, which he seems very unhappy that the president has managed to hack. Because if you remember, during the campaigns, the president went around and promised farmers cheaper fertilizer. The truth is that the fertilizer was 7,000. At the time, Raila Odinga was in that government of the hardship. Immediately the president came in, the first thing he did was reduce the cost of fertilizer from 7 to 3,500. It's now come down to 3,500, 2,500. It's now at 2,500 Kenya shillings. He seems very unhappy that the president has achieved that very, very important role. And it's because we have told him instead of us going to Mandamano, we, paid, we bought our fertilizer cheaply, went to the, to the farms, we grew our crops, we've had a bounty harvest. And now the price has gone further down to 2,500. The farmers are very happy. I think Raila Odinga is not in touch with the grassroots. And Kenya can only be fed with real hard work in the farms and cheap farm inputs, one of them being fertilizer. And again, as governors, we have uh, partnered with the national government. The national government is supplying the fertilizer to us. We are providing the last mile delivery of this fertilizer closer to the farmer and this is an agreement we had with the national government and it is agreeable and all of us are right now very busy organizing that to happen so again uh, please stop rubbishing a very important program 
it's also extremely responsible to attempt to make it look like the fertilizer imewekwa mchanga. I mean, who does that? And it cannot be that anything we do is you must fight it even when you know it is beneficial to mwananchi. The fertilizer is okay. It has been tested. I have personally visited the stores of the NCPB in Embu County and we have enough fertilizer and the farmers are already receiving this fertilizer. So I want to, I want to request uh, the Honorable Raila Odinga to desist from making inflammatory statements that can also cause panic and tell him to please allow the president to deliver on his agenda. But the beauty is whatever you say, people don't take you seriously anymore because they know you will say any negative anytime, anywhere, even if it's a good thing that is going on. So uh, that is a partnership we have. And days long gone are the days when the national government and county governments used to fight over roles and responsibilities. We are entering to an era of partnerships. And may I also inform uh, the Honorable Raila Odinga that uh, for the first time, for the first time in 10 years of devolution, we had the national government release the July close of the financial year. There was no unremitted equitable share to the counties. We closed the year with 100% remittance and even closed the year with one month advance payment for the following financial year. So this count, gov, national government is serious on supporting devolution. They are serious on making sure there is timely disbursement of funds to the counties. And this is the new business of the Kenya Kwanzaa government.